22 News are your local election headquarters, and it is official by now. Burlington High School is going to get the $70 million renovation project that was on the ballot on midterm election day. Local 22's Devin Bates talked to voters about this today. He joins us now live in the studio with the recap. What should we know about this, Devin? Well, Lauren, last night, Superintendent Yao Obang thanked voters for their support and said their input will continue to be a part of the process moving forward. Tonight, I spoke with some of those voters to see where they stand. After years of discussion within the Burlington School District about potential renovations, voters made the $70 million overhaul a reality Tuesday night after passing a bond vote by a 47-point margin. An alumnus told me safety was a major factor in their decision. The entrance points of the buildings always kind of weirded me out. Uh, there, you can enter the building from a variety of, of points without having to check in through anyone which definitely seems to pose some sort of safety concern, so I voted yes. Ultimately, the accessibility issues at Burlington High School seem to be a major factor in what pushed this vote through to a yes. However, I talked to voters on both sides of the issue that felt that the $70 million price tag could be a reason why people were on the fence about these renovations. I thought it could be spent uh, better elsewhere, perhaps uh, subsidized affordable housing, uh, and they could perhaps make the improvements that were needed at the high school for a lot less money. While it gives me pause, it did not say to me that uh, I shouldn't be supporting um, an expenditure that is necessary to keep uh, build the buildings from falling apart, from there being handicap access. My kids went to that high school. I don't want the water leaking in and I don't want it to be an energy pit. A student at BHS told me teachers have voiced concerns of their own. Teachers have complaints uh, and they kind of agree with it, but they're worried about construction going on while learning in class and not being able to focus and how it's just going to be hard for kids to learn. While the bond has passed, construction isn't expected to start for 18 months, meaning the community will likely have more to say about this before all is said and done. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.